We're talking today about hidden hazards that might be in your house and in my house. We tested everything top to bottom in Meg and Colleen's homes. And among the things we checked for were dust mites. Take a look. Here's an adventure. Um, let's check for um, dust mites. And some people are quite allergic. Are you going to log on Actually, myself, what happens is honey? the fecal matter of the dust mites might be giving you a problem. Gross. <laughs> what I'd like to do is have you take the pillowcase off. All right. And we're going to send that away to the lab. Okay. And next, we're going to look at your vacuum cleaner bag. We're going to look for pollen and dust mites and just plain dirt and other stuff. Yes, good. Nice batch of dirt here. Oh, great. <laughs> the test results are in, and yes, we did find dust mites. This is an actual photograph of a mite that we found at Meg's house. It has eight legs. You're looking right now at its mouth. And right now, experts tell us that these insects feed on dead human skin. And you know, we're always shedding skin, uh, which is why they're often found in the sheets. You're shedding skin when you don't even know it. This is what the mites look like when they're moving. The average double bed, get this, contains two million of these mites. <laughs> they also thrive in carpets, and people with allergies are the most often affected by the mites. Actually, the mites uh, themselves, we're told, are harmless. Who cares? Who wants them there? It's their waste. It's that fecal matter that people are allergic to. So it's the, mite, uh, the mites poo-pooing in the sheets <laughs> that's getting to the people, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what makes people sneeze. If you're allergic at all, the mites are really going to bother you. Can it make you sicker than sneezing, though? Um, it can eventually cause asthma attacks in uh -huh. people who are allergic, and it has become, you know, it can become a problem, yes. Now, so are the mites an indication of how clean you are, or what? You really, you really have a very hard time preventing them, but what you should do is if somebody in your house begins to develop allergies, is you should get at, especially the bedroom. You spend most of your time in the bedroom, and that's where most of them are. They're in your carpets, but there are millions of them in your bed and in your heavy curtains and so on. You've got to clean out.